Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and today I'm gonna talk to you about the first haircut of my daughter and my son. If you have seen some of my videos, you already know that my son just turned one year old and my daughter is four years old. Unexpectedly, my daughter has no long hair at all. She has very thin hair and she had never had a haircut before this time. I tried to wait until she had longer hair so we could trim it, but it seemed like that, that day will never come. We decided uh, to trim it a little bit. I just wanted it to be like straight and see if the trim help more hair growth. My son, he is a very active boy, as uh, all the boys. Because he is very active, sometimes he sweats. So his hair is very dependent on my daughter's. My daughter's hair has like a curly hair and he has very straight hair and started to grow like very very fast in the past few months so he had his hair until the neck and it was uh, a bit too long for him for him it looked like it started to bother him we started thinking well it's it's time for his hair but then, oh no, coronavirus, quarantine, and all of this. So we couldn't get a proper haircut. So I had to do it by myself. And here is my experience of how it went. It wasn't easy at all. I was super nervous. I was literally shaking when I, when I took the scissors and started cutting his hair. Eventually, like after maybe 20 minutes of uh, cutting her, his hair, I started getting more comfortable and um, it started looking better. The end result wasn't as bad as I expected. I was so, so sentimental as well because it was the first haircut for both of them. Of course, we saved a little bit of, of uh, hair from both of them. And currently I just have them in, in a Ziploc bag. It was a nice experience. A lot of things, good things have happened during this time that we have spent at home with our kids. So I hope uh, you like this video and I hope you can join me until the end so you can see how the hair gets turned out, okay? So we started by setting up the chair for Eli, but Becky wanted a hair haircut as well, so she started crying and being upset because she wanted to have the haircut. So I just told her that uh, she will have a haircut as well, but after Eli, just because Eli was going to have a nap just after and I needed to make his first okay so you will need a chair a towel some snacks a TV show that he likes and of course the scissors or anything that you need to cut his hair to show you how he looked like before the the haircut so here it is Honestly, this is not easy and I was super nervous about this and it was I was super emotional just to see how I was cutting every piece of it. He had a gorgeous hair, so and it was his first haircut and I didn't want to mess up mess it up. I we used a Ziploc bag to save a little bit of of his hair his baby hair as you can see I'm emotional there <laughs> but uh, 
what I wanted to do it was to focus on don't mess it as much because I don't have any, I didn't have any experience doing this so I just wanted to do it as the best I could and um, I started like studying his hair and seeing how I should cut it and try to remember some of the techniques that I had seen before but I mean with no experience so I was just trying to see how I should do it and then he was moving a lot so I was just like should I do it like this way or that way and I started cutting that first that second piece I really didn't like how it looked when I see it from my perspective um, it didn't look very good but of course I was just starting and then I didn't want to mess up that front part and uh, he, I didn't want him to look like all oh, I didn't like how it looked there. <laughs> Anyhow, I started cutting first very, very, very tiny pieces. And then as I got comfortable, I started cutting more and more. We were wondering what he was watching and why he was laughing. He loves Olaf from Elsa and Anna from Frozen. So we just put him some short videos of Olaf and it keeps him smiling and laughing at him. So it's it, it he thinks Olaf is very funny, which I think the same, so he enjoys seeing that. Some people prefer to do it with wet hair. I honestly didn't know what we, what it was best for him, um, so I just did it this way. I don't know if it will have been easier with the wet hair. So because he was moving a lot, I just asked my husband to pass me some snacks, and. Honestly, they weren't very healthy snacks, but it's what I needed just to keep, keep him entertained. So here I started to remember that the stylist they do like two or three fingers they measure by fingers so I started doing that and I measured like three or four fingers at the front I think and uh, two or three in the back so um, what mattered the most at this point for me was that the front part didn't look as bad because I loved his hair that way so I didn't want to to I didn't want him to look bad It started to look very uncomfortable for him because the hair was like longer than his neck and he sweats a lot so we just thought that it would be good for him to get a haircut. Also it was below his ears already so we just wanted to give him some some shape and I, I, I did ask my husband if um, we should use his uh, 
his uh, machine to cut his hair but he said that it will grow in a different way and it will be more difficult to make it shape so that's why we decided to use only the scissors at this point i was already having some practice from the back so I just started going faster and faster and he was getting tired and eating a lot so I just wanted to get it done as fast as I could but at the same time to give it a good shape so he didn't look as bad but um, um, honestly for my first haircut and with a toddler of 13 months old I think it wasn't that bad. I will show you the after picture when I'm done with his haircut. If you want to attempt to doing this, I suggest to do kind of the same because it was pretty easy to do it this way. Just keep him entertained with something on the TV, near the TV, so he doesn't move as much and um, keep him happy with some snacks or something like a pacifier or something and um, also what else you can you need to be comfortable while cutting his hair somehow or that's why I, I was wearing like a short and a um, comfortable t-shirt because I needed to move around him and just uh, be flexible around him. Once that you start, it will be easier after around 15 or 20 minutes, believe me, once that you start like um, getting used to it. Because I needed to cut the, the part on the bottom around his neck I switched to an iPad so he could face down a little bit and um, try to cut as much as I could, as fast as I could but he was still moving a lot so it didn't work out as good as I thought so we switched back to the regular t TV point he was already super tired super like he had ate a lot of puff things and he was already crying he wanted to stand and move around so I was just trying to get it more like with get it a better shape to his cut but it was already too much for him so we stopped around that time as you can see he had a lot of long hair but he doesn't have a lot of hair on the front part so I just tried to keep it like with a nice shape overall I think he did great he was patient with me he wasn't as fussy as I imagined so he did great. I just tried to quickly get some hair of our way so we can so Becky could come and get her first haircut as well so she's four years old and she has been 
she was born with very very few hair so I just uh, wanted to get a trim for her because uh, as you can see in this before picture she has a little bit of uh, hair longer than the rest of it and I had noticed this before um, she has a very nice curly hair, natural curly and uh, because of that you cannot see how long it goes because it's curled she has very thin hair and that's I just wanted to wait a little bit longer to get, get her a trim however it's been four years and she hasn't had a haircut or a trim ever so we thought that it was time to get a hair a trim as you can see we were we were trying to get a the best chair for both of us to get comfortable but I figured I will be best on my knees anyhow and I also saved some of her hair because this is also her baby hair so at the beginning I was just like okay so I will just make sure that it's all at the same length and then I remember the stylist and um, I started to separate the, her hair and do it do some ponytails so I could just get a trim on every piece of your hair so I did that here it is how I cut her hair it's not perfect because it's also my first girls haircut because she's older she recuperated more and staying still and she was also tired so afterwards she went to get a shower as well I tried to use the same technique of the iPad with her as well to so to keep her looking down and cut her the, the bottom of her hair but she didn't like it she wasn't comfortable and she wanted to watch the TV instead so it didn't last much as I will have liked to but it helped a little bit A lot of you have done a lot of things on these, uh, during this lockdown that you didn't, that you never imagined that you will be doing. But um, I think that we are getting, we are learning new skills. And uh, as moms, we definitely have to play a lot of roles and wear a lot of hats 
and being a stylist has been one of them for me. And because she saw that her brother was naked, she wanted to get naked as well and take off her clothes. And that's why I took off her blouse, but it, I didn't need to actually.
and there she was, all ready. Mom had finished both children haircuts. I hope you like this video and I hope it was useful for you and if you are wondering about anything just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video don't forget to click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe.